Okay, so we need to look at how we calculate the total number of goals um, in this question. And then what would happen is if we end up replacing um, one of the teams and then subtracting the goals that that team would have contributed. So the first thing we need to do is what is the total number of goals in the tournament? Total number of goals. And this number we was calculated in part A. Um, but just to um, go over it again, it is the women's team or the women's mean number that they score um, times the number of teams and then the men's um, average or mean times the number of teams. So the data from the previous question says that they averaged 5.83 goals per uh, per game or, or for each team for and then there were a total of 24 teams being played and then the men's mean was 5.18 goals and there were a total of 40 teams so when we work out that total we find there's 347 goals that were scored in the tournament so what we need to look at here is the new mean okay which would um, take place if we take out Germany's participation where they contributed a, co a total of 16 goals from the men and 20 from the women. So we know the old total was 347. So we have to take out the 16 and the 20. So that's the total number of um, goals that would be left. But when we take out the German team and then they're replaced by another team which did not score any goals, we actually don't have to decrease the number of teams. So we still have a total of 64 teams um, in this tournament. Um, so that's why we wouldn't go down, down to 63. So when we work this one out, we just find that they have 311 total divided by 64, and the new mean is approximately 4.86 goals. Okay, which would make sense because we're replacing a team that didn't score anything, which lowers their total number of goals, um, but we still have the same number of teams. So the overall average should be lower.